This tech tip is going to be using the Align tool in Autodesk Fusion 360. But during the demo I'd like to use some work planes. What I'm going to do is make this part look like this part. So let's start off. I need to make two work planes to cut those flats. I'm going to do that with a surface. I'm going to make an offset of this line and I'm going to make that a quarter of an inch from the edge minus one quarter I'm going to extrude that as a surface to make me a work plane a round work plane and one inch thick maybe minus in this case now I have a surface I'm going to make me a tangent plane to that so I pick on tangent plane pick on that surface now notice that when I look at straight on of this you'll see that that orientation of that axis is just not right so I want to use the reference plane to reference it to a known plane. Now I can rotate it very easily to a given angle. I'm going to do it minus 30 degrees and say OK. There I have my plane. I'm going to go ahead and split it off. So I go to modify, split body, pick the body, the cutting plane, and say OK. Now I made an extra body, I can then remove it. I do not need it. And I can turn off the plane. I want to use the surface again, so I'll make the other one. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to make a tangent plane to that surface. Again, I'm going to reference it to the horizontal plane to be sure it's square and come over. I'll go 20 degrees. Not easy to do with this with a ray, so I'm doing odd angles. Say there and go ahead and split it again. And remove the extra material. Turn off the plane and I'll turn off the construction circle. Now that is just using some planes to get two flats at odd angles on this curve. Now I want to put this block on that center of that flat, each flat. Now you could have sketched it on here, but I just want to use the align tool. So go to modify, align. You pick on the body. You can do components or bodies. I'm going to use bodies. And notice there are many points I could pick. I want the center. Then I come over and pick this. And you notice again, pick many points pick the center. I could flip it or rotate if I see fit and say OK. I need another one so I'm going to take that body. I'm going to copy it. Remember to hit copy before you do any moving otherwise it won't be available. Now I wanted to also go ahead and align this by that point to that point. Again I need to flip it in this case or rotate it. It's up to you. Now you say there are three bodies, you can then use your combine tool to make it into a component or a multi-part body. It's up to you. Another use of the align tool is for practicing in assemblies. You may want to put an assembly together to see what it looks like, but you really don't need to constrain it to make it in motion just want to see a solid or something that gives you a representation of the assembly. I have a base part here which has been grounded. I'm going to put these two bushings in it using the line command. So I go to a line, zoom up and pick, I want to use components in this case, pick the edge, gives me the center, pick the edge, gives me the center, and it goes in place. If you need to flip it, you could. I'm okay. Now remember, 
that can be reverted back. If you are aligning, you can also do this. You can pick components, you can pick the same point, and you can check this part button right here to capture position. And it'll stay put. Now, it's still not constrained, so if you want to keep it in position, you probably would like to ground it. So ground it so it can move. Just for temporary use, this is great. You can do it very fast with the align tool. Do another one. And I'll capture constraint and I'll ground it. I of course can ground the end all of it once. Let's do the gear. Go to align to the center of that. I could flip it if I need to or rotate it, whichever I need. I'll capture position and I'll ground it. The last thing I'll do is the gearbox cover just to show you one more. Align, pick the center of the curves, and they pop together. I could rotate if I need to, but I don't. Capture position and ground it. Again, remember, it's just grounded. It's just a representation of the assembly to get a feel for it. You may have to add joints later if you want it uh, animated or to move. Thank you.